So this is the Ashad Wear Air Max. So normally when a pro comes out with a new shoe, they start numbering them. So for example, like Nigel, they have the Nigel 1s, Nigel 2s, and now most recently, the Nigel 3s. But with this second Ashad shoe, everything's a little bit different because this isn't just kind of an upgrade on the original technology in the shoe. I think this shoe is very, very different. And obviously the main thing is this new Air Max they're putting in the shoe. Now the original Ashad shoe came out two years ago, I think. And that was kind of my intro into wider shoes. I typically skated like skinnier, typical fit shoes. I've never skated dunks, which are typically a wider fit. Uh, the Ashads are kind of my intro into that. And since then, I haven't really gone back. My favorite skate shoe right now is the Lakai Telford, which is basically Lakai's version of a dunk. And I absolutely love that shoe. And I really enjoyed the first Ashad. So when this one came out, I had to try it and I loved the colorway. Honestly, wasn't too hype about the way it looked at first, but seeing it in person and seeing it like me wearing it on my feet, I, I really like it so far. And I mean, I think it looks really good. So if you've seen the first Ashad, you know this has been a big upgrade from the last one. Obviously, there's the Air Max material. So we have the air bubble in the back of the shoe, right? Most people know what that is by now. But now there are a couple of other adjustments as well. The biggest change that stood out to me was the, the color of the shoe right here. It is much taller. It's more of like a mid than it is a low now. The original shod probably came down to here, like where the blue and white meet, but this one now comes up a little higher. I would consider this more like a mid. It's not quite a high top. It's not a low. Uh, it's kind of right in the middle. And usually I'm not a fan of uh, mid shoes. I usually skate uh, lows. I don't like highs either. I just feel like they don't look that good in my opinion. But I think these turned out pretty well, especially if you're wearing pants. If you're wearing pants, you can't even see this anyway, so it's whatever. I can't really rock shoes like this in shorts, but people like Ashad can. Half this video part, he was in shorts wearing these and he looks pretty good in them. I can't really pull off that style, so for me, I'm gonna be rocking these in some pants. Some more similarities to the first shoe is that this is inspired by basketball shoes as well, plus the skate, so they put basketball, skateboarding, mash them together, you get this shoe. So another updated feature is the mesh. So right here where the Nike logo is, uh, right behind it is this mesh material. It's on both sides of the shoe. In theory, this is supposed to make your shoe more breathable and in turn, make your foot less sweaty because the sweatier your foot is, the more it slips around in there and that can cause blisters. But the mesh is different. The mesh on the old shoe was a little thicker and it didn't actually look that breathable, but it looked way more durable. There was like this wavy pattern of like this plasticky material kind of going down the mesh and it felt like it wasn't going to rip. This, uh, if you get this snagged on something, it's definitely gonna rip. It's a very, very thin mesh material, but hopefully that makes it more breathable. The tongue is pretty much the exact same as the original Ashad. It's a very thick tongue. Your foot feels protected and it's very snug in there. And I would say because of the tongue, everything kind of fits to size. I feel like when I put my foot in there, the tongue is like so thick, it like really locks down your foot. There's also this like webbing material. I truthfully don't know what it's called, but you see this green inside the shoe. This is actually what your laces are attached to. And you can see the green on the top of the shoe. That's what the laces are actually attached to on the inside. And that is what locks your foot down. And the lacing system is made to where the laces aren't really exposed. So all you kick flippers out there can go a little longer without ripping your shoelaces, which is always a nice addition. The website says this is a cup sole that breaks in easily and I couldn't agree more. I've had about three good skate sessions in them and they felt great on day one. I was landing all my normal tricks Everything was just really solid and I just like the way the shoe feels. Even with this Air Max air bubble on the bottom, I still feel like I have a lot of control and can feel my board. Um, I don't know how much this air bubble is gonna affect impact. I did skate the stair set at my local park, but it's like a pretty medium to small size three stair. It's not very big, but I didn't feel anything. I bailed a couple times, didn't really hurt. Everything felt pretty good. So 
Again, a minimum impact is probably okay, but I mean, but Ashad and other people are hucking down like massive stair sets. So if that's you, you might want to upgrade the sole. I've actually never owned a pair of Air Maxes. They became popular when I was in like middle school or high school, the Nike Air Maxes. Everybody had them. I just never, never got the pair. I didn't really get on the hype train. So I've never actually seen what the sole looks like but it, it appears that is actually where the air bubble is. The air bubble is in the sole. So if you look in the shoe now, you can kind of see straight through the air back here. That, that, what you're seeing isn't actually supporting your foot at all. That's just a clear way to see kind of through the shoe. The air bubble itself is actually in the sole, which I didn't know. So if you're a skater and not really a basketball player or someone that likes sneakers, you probably might not have known that. Similar to me, I didn't know the, the actual bubble was in the sole. I guess if you are hucking down massive stair sets and you want a more supportive insole, I guess that defeats the purpose of the Air Max. So if that is you and you change your soles to like different shoes, like if you're skating a shoe and you have to change and you have like a very specific insole that you use, I probably wouldn't recommend these uh, because the whole point of this is that the insole has an air bubble. Wow, that surprisingly went back in there very easily. Putting soles back in can usually be a pain. Now I'm not like a fancy shoe reviewer. I'm just a, an average skateboarder that likes getting new skate shoes like every other skater. And I just wanna make a video about them. This is kind of my first impressions. If you would like to see like a full review after a couple months of skating these, let me know. I'll try to get back to that. Let me know in the comments if you've picked up a pair of these. Let me know what you think about them. I've seen some mixed opinions on them or whether they look good or not. My wife doesn't really like them that much, but honestly, I'm, I'm, they're growing on me every time I wear them and every time I look at them. I'd love to know what you think. We can have a conversation down in the comments. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys in the next video. And hopefully next time I can give you an update on how these shoes are actually skating. Peace.